Hi there, David here with an Optimized Press Clubhouse update for you. And in today's video, we're looking at a new template called Webinar. In the first video, we're showing you the Webinar Registration Page template. As you can see it here on the screen, the first thing you see is this large Call to Action button in the middle here. We're using the lovely blue color. I've also got a shadow effect added to this button. You can see it just underneath there. To make it a little bit different, it stands out. It also blends in with the color further down the page. If we click on the button, we're using the Optimize Press overlay and it pops up. And this can be connected to your GoToWebinar account. So you automatically add your leads inside your GoToWebinar account. So they're registered for your webinar. So then look at the template that we've used. We've got this nice background image here. We've used this obviously to represent a webinar. You can freely switch it out for your own image if you like. We've then added a transparent white background across the bar here. You can see the other background image comes through. The font style we're using is the bitter font, a nice bold font in the Google font range. And we've carried this font throughout the rest of the page. As we scroll down here, you can see we've got it on the headlines. We've also added this limited spaces text. And then on the right, we've got the date. Two things you want to try and get on your registration pages. If you do have limited spots, make it clear so people know. Also, it adds a bit of scarcity, so hopefully they can register sooner for your webinar. On the right, we've clearly stated the date. You could also show the international times if you know the time zone of what you're in or what the webinar is going to be running in. Then carry on down the page. We've continued the blue color from the same button above, so it's keeping that consistency in the design. And then we're using these nice icons in this featured block. If you do choose to change the color of these, you might want to add your own icons, either change the colors of these ones or you don't want to change, you know, putting your own icons to replace them. So further down, we've covered these three points. These are the main things that we're going to be covering on the webinar. Over on the right, we've added a featured box, clearly so it shows the expert who's being interviewed, or it could be the guest. It could even be the host who's running the webinar. A bit of text underneath to explain their experiences or what they're going to be covering. And as we go further down the page, we've got here the social proof. Adding these on your registration pages can increase your registrations. People who have maybe bought your products or even been on your previous webinars, try and get their testimonials in there. As we scroll further down, you can see we've brought that same dark blue color here and then back to the big overlay button. But this time with the bold font across here, which has been capitalized. Again, if we click on this, the overlay optimizer pops up. And again, you could have something different here, but the same process, you could be registering onto your go-to webinar account. Now remember with the overlay optimizer, you could set this to trigger on a delay timer so it pops up you know, after they've been on the page for 10 or 20 seconds. You could also use the exit intent feature so you could pop this up as the person was leaving the page. You know, So you could even use some different wording to try and get them to register or even offer them a free gift and maybe put them into one of your funnels where you can get them to register later on. So a lovely page design, nice and clear, lovely colors and all ready for you to go in and customize if you want or just use it as it is right now. And if you do use it, as always, we'd love to hear from you and see it in action.